Let's say I want to multiply 3.1, or 3 and 1 tenths, times, times 2.4, which could also be described as 2 and 4 tenths. So pause the video and see if you can do this. And once again, I'll give you a hint. See if you can express these as fractions. So there's a couple of ways you can express it as a fraction. You could express this as 3 and 1 tenth times 2 and 4 tenths. 2, maybe the same color. 2 and 4 tenths. Now whenever you're multiple, these are mixed numbers right over here. And mixed numbers are not the super straightforward to multiply. It's easier if they were written as what's often known as improper fractions, but essentially not as mixed numbers. So 3 is the same thing as 30 tenths. So 30 tenths plus 1 tenth, this is 31 tenths, times 2 is the same thing as 20 tenths. So 20 tenths plus 4 is 24 tenths. 24 over 10. And hopefully this makes sense too, that 3.1, this 3 right over here, this is 30 tenths, or I could write, oh let me write 30 tenths, and then this is 1 tenth. So this total is going to be 31 tenths. Likewise, this 2 is 20 tenths plus 4 tenths gives us 24 tenths. And now we can multiply. So this is going to give us, our denominator is pretty straightforward. 10 times 10 is 100. And then 31 times 24, we can multiply it in the traditional way that we're used to multiplying two digit numbers. 31 times 24 is going to be equal to, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. Now we're going to be multiplying in the tens place. We're going to put a zero here. So 2 times 1 is 2. We're really saying 20 times 1 is 20, but you get the idea. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Really 600, because it's 20 times 30. But I'm just following the standard multi the, the method for multiplication. And then you add these, and you're going to get 4, 4, 7. So when you multiply these two things together, in the numerator, you get 744 hundredths which can also be expressed as, this is the same thing as 7 hundredths over, or, let me, or 700 hundredths, I should say, plus 44 hundredths. And 700 hundredths, well that's just going to be equal to 7. So this is 7 plus 44 hundredths, which we could write as 0.44. That's our 7 and 44 hundredths. And we would be done. And you might already be seeing a pattern. If you just took 31 and multiplied by 24, you get 744. And notice, I have one and two digits behind the decimal point. Notice, I have one and two digits behind the decimal point. And so think about whether that always works. Think about, and why that might work. If you just multiply the numbers as if they didn't have decimals, so you would've gotten 744, and you say, hey, I got two numbers behind the decimal, so my product is gonna have to have two numbers behind the decimal. Why does that work? Or does it always work? And how does it relate to what we did here, which is converting these things to improper fractions and then multiplying it that way?